following amputation of the finger, initial preparation, storage and transportation of the amputated part to the appropriate center is very important for successful replantation. In 2013, when I was an invited speaker to the Bangladesh Orthopedic Society Conference, my talk was on finger replantation. On that occasion, my advice to the young hand surgeons was regarding the community education of transportation of the amputated finger. In summer, the weather becomes very muggy and in winter, it is freezing cold. So we need to follow a standard bought simple transportation protocol applicable for all seasons. If the amputated part is soaked in water, milk or alcohol during transportation, there will be gross edema of the soft tissue and it would be difficult to dissect out the blood vessels for anastomosis. The author prefers the following steps to follow during transportation of the amputated finger. Cleaning of the dirt from the amputated part with a moist clean cloth and wrap it with another one. Putting the part into a sealed plastic bag. Finally putting the plastic bag containing the amputated part into a clean, sealed container filled with ice. At the same time, the cut end of the proximal stump should be wrapped with a clean cloth to prevent bleeding from the end. It is not advisable to spray any hemostatic agent at the cut end. Multiple fingers amputation it is preferable to keep each of the amputating part in separate container and keep record of the patient's information along with the name of the finger on T. Preoperative findings. Post-operative findings. X-ray findings. Thank you very much. Finger replantation chapter to preparation be thermal injury. Caution. In case of amputation following thermal injury, amputated part is usually exposed to a very dry condition due to exposure to heat. All the soft tissue structures could be dried up by the heat. In such case, while checking the blood vessels in the operation theater, the author prefers to either dip the amputated part in normal saline to get them swollen or continue dribbling of saline on the amputated part throughout the dissection. The time to dip in normal saline is decided by frequently checking and confirming the softening of the soft tissue. Dipping into normal saline is only advisable if soft tissue of the amputated finger is in very dry state following thermal injury immediately before the dissection of the vessel under the microscope. LNA 56 years old male in whom amputated part was exposed to very high temperature and kept in dry environment for a long time. Replantation was performed after creation of artificial edema by dipping the part in normal saline. Left side before debridement. Right side after debridement. Checking artery. Arterior AFI was performed. Immediate post-operative. Post-operative 7 days. Post-operative 2 weeks later. Post-operative 4 months later. X-ray findings. Thank you very much.